In this example, start by editing your clip to the timeline. Navigate to the generators menu and choose shapes category. Then pick rectangle. Superimpose the white rectangle over to clip V1 by dragging the rectangle to the superimpose button within the canvas window. Hold down the option plus shift key to make an exact copy of V1 onto V3 by dragging the clip straight up to the track. Now go to the effects tab within the browser window, choose video filters, then the blur category. Drag Gazoo and Blur filter onto the clip on V3. Double click on the clip that is on V3. This will load that clip into the viewer window. Notice these dots. This means you will be working on that clip. Go to the filters tab in the viewer window. Increase the radius for the Gaussian blur to the desired amount. This makes the clip on V3 blurry. Right click onto the clip that's on V3 and choose composite mode travel matte linear. This will place the blurry clip into the white area of the rectangle. Now we need to animate the rectangle. Double click on V2 which will load the rectangle into the viewer window. Now you need to click on the video tab in order to see it. Move over to the canvas window and choose image and wireframe from the view pop-up menu. Place your position indicator towards the beginning of the clip at the point where you want to blow out the object or information. Scale and position the rectangle over the object. Click on the add motion keyframe button located in the lower right corner of the canvas window. Notice how the image and wireframe crosshairs have turned green. This indicates that there are keyframes at this position. Click on the motion tab within the viewer window. You can see the keyframes that have been created for these parameters. Move the position indicator forward a bit within the canvas window. Reposition your rectangle to match the location of the object information you are blurring. Final Cut Pro will automatically linear path that follows to your new point. Move the position indicator forward again until you feel that you need to reposition the rectangle. Repeat these same steps for as many points as you find necessary. And when you have finished, go ahead and play the clip. 